Hi guys, Jeff at Slaylands Racing. Just picked up on my 2020 300 XCW last night. <clears throat> this morning I took it for just a spin around the neighborhood, just threw my helmet on and buzzed around the neighborhood with just my jeans on just to see how it runs. Uh, it was all kind of loaded up, but I got it to clean out. So then I just rode for like five minutes, came back home and then went out to breakfast and ran a couple of errands, came back a couple hours later and geared up and took off from the home again and it was all loaded up again i thought the thing was going to foul plug it was so loaded and uh but it did clean out and now it's running fine so i don't know what's going on with that loady part that's kind of interesting for a fuel injected bike but i'll, I'll sort that out um let's start with the chassis on it so these are just first impressions you know i just got about 20 miles on it so far so the chassis definitely has a more balanced feel than it did in uh, 17, 18, 19 in stock form. It feels more like my modified 19-300 where I've done a lot of work on the suspension as far as the balance goes. You know, it, it, it has a more, a more nimble feel and it feels like it turns a little bit better. Just a little more planted in the front, which gives it kind of a quicker steering feel, but not no, not too quick, not twitchy or anything like that. Just a nice feel. And so I'm riding it totally box stock form. The only thing I changed was the front tire. Uh, I don't like the stock tires, and I uh, thought I'd just peel that one off there and sell it before I put any miles on it. So I just stuck on another front wheel assembly. And, uh, even once the thing is good and cleaned out and warmed up, it still has a little bit of a rich feel on the bottom. It gives you a slight hesitation. And then through the mid-range, it has a richness that makes it kind of flat. But if you rev it out a couple of times, then that kind of cleans out and it runs right out. But then it comes back to that richness again. And, uh, but I gotta say the motor in stock form compared to last year's, the 19 300 TPI, it has a lot more bottom end. It pulls really nice off the bottom. It's smooth. It's torquey, it's got a lot of grunt off the bottom for a stock motor. It almost feels like a motor that's had a little head work done or something to it, you know, it's a little more compression. It's got a really nice feel on the bottom. Uh, the mid-range and top end feel like in the past, except for that, you know, once you clean out that mid-range. You know, there's nothing special about stock motors for me. I'm used, so used to riding modified motors that stock ones are a little boring, but for a stock motor, uh, if it didn't have those little fuel injection glitches, it'd be pretty damn nice in stock form. Uh, of course, there's always room for improvement with heads and stuff like that. But I think what it really needs is a GET ECU. Uh, we're just waiting for GET to uh, get the mapping and the firmware, software, everything sorted out for these 20s. And then that'll be the next thing I put on it. Because uh, on my 19, that was the single best improvement made to it. And on my 18 250, the get really makes a big difference. Um, but back to the stocker here. So the suspension, although they've made quite a few changes internally, I mean, the valving, I don't know what the hell they're thinking. They went one spring rate softer on the front. They went from 42s to 40s, which are really light springs, even for the 165 to 187 pound rider. And then they went to stiffer valving. So it still has that same bullshit harshness on all the small stuff and, and lacks bottoming resistance on the big stuff. Feels, you know, just about like all of them in the past. Harsh without enough bottoming resistance. So you kind of get the worst of both worlds there. Um, but, you know, all that's fixable. I really like the new bodywork. It came off of the 19300 XCs. And... We've already got fuel tanks, bigger fuel tanks for them in stock. So I'll be putting one of those on there right away. Other than that, you know, yeah, I know that they've changed the chassis and the swing arm a little bit, but it's really basically the same bike we've had for the last three years as far as the rolling chassis goes. And pretty much everything except for the bodywork from the 17 through 19 fits these, you know, pipe guards, skid plates, disc guards, hand guards, all that kind of stuff. Still fits just fine. 
Uh, I'll be loading it up with a few things, you know, guards and things here before I ride it again. But I will ride it again in a, with the stock engine before I do any any mods. I'll, I'll probably get 100 or more miles on it. Uh, overall, definitely a nice bike, but not a perfect bike. None of them are. And the fueling on it is still a little bit off. So I've been hearing through the grapevine from dealer friends and consumers that the, the TX, um, Husqvarna, and the XC KTM apparently have different maps because the guys are really saying that they run poorly. And the, the same dealers are saying that the XCW and the TE models run a lot better. So it appears that they've done different fueling on on the models because this one you know i could get by with this for a long time um it's not what i want definitely not what i like but it is rideable so that's all i want to tell you for now guys just a quick first ride report here it's all for now